folks, I'm back. Since our last episode, hundreds of you have reached out to me about the anti-hat mentality being squashed in your own schools. I am absolutely tumultuous about this news. This just substantiates my point that all it takes is one very handsome, very robust, tenacious man to make a difference that spans the nation. For this, I thank each and every one of you, and myself, of course. Unfortunately, there is another indisputable, nauseating problem that plagues this place of education. This problem is so abhorrent that I could not let it continue. This problem is, of course, <coughs> the fact that the school is putting poison in the school lunches. This has gone on too long. These institutions are intentionally pumping copious amounts of pure mesothelioma into our baked potatoes, our quesadillas, our beans, our hamburger buns, etc. You get the point. They are feeding our acquaintances, our peers, our colleagues food that withers away their brain capacity. It turns us into obedient, brainwashed slaves of the school administration. As you can see, some of my crew has eaten some of this food for research purposes, and well, they're not turning out so well. It has broken my voluptuous, muscular heart to see them like this. But alas, I had to prove my point. This is the evidence, folks. Okay, you can stop now. Now this is usually around the time in the show where we throw it over to my stalwart, industrious sidekick, Obus Boyer, to interview the people of this establishment about the pressing predicament at hand. The problem is he doesn't seem to be present at the moment. Do you guys know where he is? Did he call him late for something? Where in Kevin Sorbo's name is that aristocratic, well-proportioned son of a biscuit? <gasps> Holy mother of the 55th Amendment, soldier! Why are you there? I sleep here. As you know, the school lunches are being injected with pure fibrosis This poison is affecting the soul and the holy spirit of our peers at this educational facility. Okay? This is just a little polydimethylsiloxane. Now I'm going to interview some of the beloved and undesirable people who may or may not be affected. What are your thoughts on school lunches, pal? I grew 39 tumors one week from eating them. Uh, they're pretty bad. It's absolute garbage. I hate it. <laughs> school lunches. There's too much school lunch. That's my problem. The thing is, you see, we don't have enough food to feed the entire population. And I've been saying this for a while now that we need a new plate. Like, if we're giving them, like, a plate of fries, there's gonna be another potato famine. Sir, do you want to be interviewed? No, thank you. <laughs> that was absolutely disgusting. Ugh, that was gross. Where do you think the funds for this food come from? Probably the black market. Um, I don't know. Probably the city. I doubt. It's probably like a major scheme. They know that we'll keep buying it because we're hungry, but they just keep giving us worse stuff for higher prices. So. Uh, it probably comes from the... Well, it comes from the school board where they allocate it, probably. Corruption. Sir, do you want to be interviewed? No. Sir, do you want to be interviewed? No. Sir, do you want to be interviewed? No. Yeah. Have you or loved one shown any mental or physical deterioration? Deterioration. 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 Deterioration after eating the school lunch? <laughs> what? Am I what? <laughs> uh, I don't eat the school lunch, but uh, I don't know. Jeremy's been on the so for a while. Do you think it's, do you think it's a possibility? <laughs> yes, my family died. Uh, my son actually had the measles last week. Yeah, he uh, came back with uh, he came back with dots all over his face, and he started throwing up. Oh my goodness! Yeah, my little brother has turned into a vegetable in school lunches. I know I have. You should see how gross they turn those trays after you eat a school lunch. Look at me. I, it's clear. There are chemicals being used to poison our children, and they're being made in the bathroom, okay? You understand? Okay? Reports and evidence have shown that gas clouds have been coming from the bathroom doors. 
All right, folks, we have seen to reach the scene of the crime. May God have mercy. Do you think it's a possibility that they are pumping dangerous and hazardous materials into the school lunch that may affect the minds of our innocent children? As long as it tastes good, I don't care. No, I don't know for sure, but that definitely seems like a possibility. Yeah, I actually uh, overheard a conversation with the principal and the lunch lady, and they said they were injecting salmonella directly into the food. Um, I don't know why, but... I'm not going to say no. Um, absolutely. I think that's actually, it's all dangerous material. I think no human should ever eat that food. It's disgusting. So we're going to, today we're going to interview one of the fan favorites. Um, what are your thoughts on the school lunch? You're going to apologize for what you did, right? Apologize for what? What do you think they're putting in on the school lunches? Stop. Oh, wait. Gracias. Obis might lose his life being around this food. I'm really worried for him. What would you do to change the school lunches, and specifically, what ingredients would you put in them? I'd make them edible. I would make them edible. Probably more chemicals. Thank you. Some hot sauce and uh, some Kool-Aid. What I'm about to try, folks, may take my well-being and my sanity. This is only done by professionals. My God, is that an amazing piece of sustenance? Wait, this is this is so amazing. Why am I here? I quit. Wait, Obis, 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 come back, come on, please. Just ah, oh. I gotta tell Alec. In the name of all that is sacred, I am handsome. Alec, I have something to tell you. Hey, don't sneak up on me like that. I mean, Obis quit, sir. He what? Uh, he, he just took a bite of the school lunch and left. Well, who's gonna replace that traitorous brain-dead mule? Well, I mean, there's your son. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. For those of you at home who don't know, my son was tragically a victim of the pure gingivitis they are pumping into the school food, but I guess he is our only option at this point. Son, I need your help. Zach, I found it. It's a, a rare fossil in the universe. Son, stop it. I need your help. So, so you want to come find Diplodocus bones? No. Shh. I'm fighting against the industry that made you this way. You need to help me out, okay? Can you help your old man out? Hello, hello, everyone. Here we have this lovely person's interview. Question one, what are your thoughts on school lunches? Are you okay? You don't look so good. Let's move on to the next question. Where do you think the funding from the school lunches comes from? Uh, can we just, can we stop this interview, please? Like, this isn't going anywhere. Okay, stop, 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 stop. I don't know why I thought this would work. We need Obis back. Obis, my god, what did they do to you? Obis, 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 stop, 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 stop! Obis, stop, 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 stop! Oh, Obis, snap out of it! Snap out of it, Obis! Snap out of it, Obis! Snap out of it! How long was I out? I don't know, Obis. All that matters is that you're back. Alec, is your play date over? Not now, Mom!
Well, we've learned a lot today, folks. We've learned definitively that the school administration is deliberately implanting mangitis into the food that each and every one of you scarf down every single day. It is truly malicious, evil organization, and it cannot go on any longer. Stay brave, patriots.